Hello and welcome to Advanced Mazda. We've got a race here at Okayama today. Should be lots of fun. I'm pretty happy with the times I'm getting in, uh, in the open practice session ahead of time here. Um, as usual, the Major's Garage free setup is pretty darn good. I'm always quite happy with it. Uh, it lets me do Feels like it lets me do what I need to do. You know, it's it turns so much better than, say, the default setup and all that, so. Very glad to have that on my side. And uh, maybe we'll get a nice qualifying run on our side, too. I'm sure that'll be important. As usual, in road racing. Hopefully, we'll survive a while, too. Which, uh, is not. Not something that you usually get in road racing on iRacing, so. Hopefully we'll be here for a while for the full race. I took that kind of weird. I gotta be careful uh, driving around on this outlap on my cold tires. Should be up to temp uh, well enough by the time we get to the first lap. This is my first real race of the new week, but it's probably not the first upload of this week. I haven't been recording as much lately, just haven't felt uh, up to it. But I did do a couple of recordings last week and then just never uploaded them, so uh, I'm going to have those uploaded early this week, and then uh, this will be the first one that goes up that's actually from a race this week. I don't know if any of that made sense. Hopefully it did. <laughs> but uh, I hope to get back into it again soon. So, getting into turn one. That felt pretty good. Get it on the limiter there. I think that's right about where you want it. Shift. I could have done that a little smoother maybe, but still not too bad. I think my all-time best was uh, aided by the draft, so keep that in mind. As uh, Especially as I start losing time down this stretch. Because, of course, nobody's going to have the benefit of draft during qualifying, so this time I'm losing isn't going to hurt me. Dive it in pretty good there, but not too far that I can't get it turned. I was kind of smooth, um, not very smooth. I think I went a little shallow and got onto the. Uh, oh, that was all messy. A little out of practice. A uh, couple things went wrong there. <laughs> I didn't shift when I needed to, and I missed the angle a little bit on the turn end. Eh, not my best effort so far. Oh, thankfully we got another lap. Maybe we can get it done then. Could have got on, gotten on the gas a little sooner there. Alright, so about a second All shorter right. than my all-time best. But gotta consider the draft, so. P3. P3. Could be better. Let's get, uh... Once I get a moment here. That was smoother that time, I like that. Uh, once I have a moment here, we're gonna do session best lap, so that way we can compare to the first lap. There we go. That'll give us a better idea if uh, we're doing better or not. Didn't quite hit that how I like to hit it, but that should be okay. So we have a better run down this long straight. Pretty even with the first lap so far, but I think I can do this whole section a lot better this time. There we go. I definitely lost time through here. Last lap, get out of there, get out of the bumper. <laughs> okay. Let's 
went a little wide there last time. I didn't quite get the exact angle I wanted here. Should have better run off this time. Okay, a little bit better. Not quite the runoff there, but we should be about a tenth up on the last lap. We'll see where that brings us. Oh man, 143.9, that's a great lap, holy cow. So the number one and two came to race. <laughs> uh, they're about a full second faster than me, so I'm going to have to hope I can keep up with their draft if I want a chance, but I don't think that's going to happen. Not if they're a full second faster. But uh, we should be pretty competitive. Around the guys uh, around us here. We should be able to fight for a podium at least. And, you know, anything can happen. Two guys could wreck each other. Uh, the two guys in front could wreck each other on the first lap as far as we know. So. Oh, wow. We just barely made it in time, apparently. It's time to race. Nice. Good timing. I was a little slow on the getting into the qualifying session, so that's probably what that was about. Alright, so P3 is a starting spot. We should have the right amount of fuel in here. I'm trusting Major's Garage on that one. And uh, we'll go ahead and do all time, since we will have draft. Alright. Big field, if you saw. How many people we got in here? 23. So, advanced Mazda. It's bigger fields than... Uh, and the rookie Mazda, I'm pretty sure. I don't get to do these as often as uh, I would like, because a lot of times they're going to uh, tracks you pay for, and I don't have very many road uh, tracks, road courses. Don't own too many of them, so a lot of times there are places I do not have. But, okay, I'm as a free one, and I'm uh, slowly, gradually... <laughs> Mic check. Adding to my uh, portfolio I... when it comes to road yeah, races. Hey. So, my check should be good. You're fine. Standing start. Loud and clear. Much preferred. It's okay. Get a drink of water before we go. All right. I got enough fuel in the car, but do I have enough fuel in me, is the question. That's why I gotta get a drink of water, right? <laughs> that was really stupid, I'm sorry. Please don't leave. <laughs> okay. Angle falta de velocidad. I have something... Speed. The track speed. Is 90. The air temp have no speed, is maybe, he's trying to say. I don't know. Okay, Colton. I only know a little Spanish. Go. Green flag, green flag. Someone is not going back there. Yikes. <laughs> Someone wasn't paying attention or something. Car ride. Clear. Ooh. Very cold tires. Holy cow. That about killed me. I wasn't even going that fast. Let me make sure I don't spin out like the guy behind me did. I saw that happen into my mirror. We got a lot of race to go. We can't go spinning out in the first corner. Well, we see that video. Just try to keep up with these guys because they're going to be able to pull us along how fast they are. Hopefully. I'm sure they'll break away eventually, but for now they'll give us a good speed keeping up with their draft. Oh wow, they break late. I'll get it here, right here, bro. Hey, wait for me. Yeah, they're good. You can tell they're kind of just one step ahead of me. Skill. Get the line, like, perfected almost. Probably not perfected, but closer to it than I am. Yeah. Carrying a lot of speed through these corners. Maybe we'll get a bunch of off tracks or something. 
<laughs> I almost did there. So we got ourselves a 35 minute race. Is that how long this is? That's what it looked like. Good rotation. Yeah, see, they're, they're pulling away from me. Doing my best, but... I think the brake's a little bit too late there. Overdrove it a little bit. Wait, take me with you. Don't leave. Oh my god, someone just torpedoed behind us. Did you see that? <laughs> Holy smokes. I just heard a car like getting louder all of a sudden. For a moment I was thinking, I'm about to die. Oh my god, what happened? Okay, well. <laughs> we got some space behind us now. I'm not sure what happened there. That was like Jimmy Johnson at Watkins Glen brake failure. <laughs> oh, God. Forget the ambulance, just send the coroner. Just directly to him. That was a good thing. Oh, I drove that again. It's, it's the angle. I messed up the angle. If I'll give me a second, I'll give it to you on the front straight. Oh, we're going to end up in no man's land, aren't we? We're going to end up watching these guys drive away in front of us. The car in front has just posted a 144.26. Overdrove it again. I gotta get it, get it together here. Ah, blink. What the hell are you comparing? Uh, I'm gonna watch him drive away ahead. Pedal issues. That must have been what happened to that guy. That guy. Yeah, but that stinks. What a time for it to happen too. After that long straight, going a million miles an hour. No, it's okay. You don't touch me. That's important, though. They're not driving away too bad. There's certain parts of the track they are very much faster than I am. But if they start fighting at some point, maybe they won't uh, <laughs> get so far away. The gap ahead is now 2.2 seconds. They're really good through that section. I'm pretty decent through there, but not quite as good as those guys. I guess we can do session best lap. Just try to say it to uh, set personal race bests as this thing goes along. So I don't think I'm going to be hitting uh, my all time best. Oh, did he go off? Did he just get his right sides off? I kind of was looking at. Uh, at the track and not what he was doing, but I saw something in my peripheral. <laughs> Looked like he was not quite on the track. That's again not how I like to take that corner. It's not so bad. You can kind of take that a couple different ways, but I like to. Pr I prefer to keep it lower right there. Going wider there, I got a little bit better of a drive off, but it's not how I prefer to take it. Sorry. <clears throat> I wonder if I should shift a second there. I might try that. Because I kind of have to, like, I have to shift really quickly as I go through there. I, I think I carry enough speed, I might want to just stay in second gear. What the? Might try that since I, uh, I have plenty of room at the moment. Might be a way I can go a little faster. 
keep up with these guys a little bit better. Otherwise, I'm just watching them get farther away. And thankfully, I'm pulling away from the guys behind us. Go ahead, Sean. And Thank you, man. I bet you that. Sorry, Dylan. You were blinking, man, and my father said you were clear. We got some guys having troubles. Three. You just like. Ooh, almost went too wide. Ooh, the frames are getting gross for a second here. Ew. Why do I keep overdriving that? I know better. Why am I doing that? Frames, please! There's not even very many cars on the screen right now. Is it trees? Do I get to blame the trees? Look at all those trees. Darn trees. That's what I'm blaming. It's not my bait. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> I kind of forgot I was going to try to stay in second, and uh, I, just, just, I don't even know what I did with the gears. I just started flipping them up and down. That's probably not how you want to do it. I will say that. Pretty smooth, though. Good run off. All right. I think my session best lap I got. I did a very poor final uh, turn there, though. So I think that's going to be a green a lot of the time, so long as I don't mess it up as bad as I did that lap. That lap time was one forty-five point three eight. Hmm. Wow, we got ten seconds behind us. I'm um, feeling pretty good about podium so long as I don't crash. That time I underdrove it. That's such a hard corner to get right, though. It really is. I feel like there's so many different ways you can go about taking that corner, but it's tough to get just right. I don't know. It's probably just me. It's probably just it doesn't <laughs> vibe with me very well. I did overdrive that a little bit. Second gear. Was that better? I don't know. It seemed about the same. It feels weird, though, because I'm so used to doing it the other way. If it's about equal on speed, I think I'll go back to doing it the way I'm used to. So that way I'm not messing up my rhythm. But it looked to be just about the same amount of speed. Remember when we could see them in front of us? There they are. And some dust, too. <laughs> so we're still close enough to cough in the dust, so... At least that's something. Enough to eat their dust. <laughs> Your lap times are increasing. Come on, get back on it. Lap times are increasing. I don't like to hear that. Still pulling away though. Almost about 12 seconds now behind us. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Ahead is now 6.0. Right here, did we? Well, darn, we just kind of found our own little pocket, it seems like. I think it's better to shift a first there. I think if I just get the shifting right, 
everything just right. The higher potential is with first gear. I'm gonna keep doing that. Because that time it looked like I was a little faster and I still don't feel like I completely nailed it. Uh-oh. What happened? Hello? your fucking line? <laughs> Are they mad at each other? I saw that guy say something and then he went down a position. So they must be fighting back there. Perhaps not so kindly. Oh my god, what am I doing? I didn't get stay on the brakes long enough, I don't think. Well, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like this is going to be too entertaining. We don't have anyone, like, right at my speed. We have two guys that are faster than me. We have the rest of the field that's just a little slower. Or fighting, or wrecked, or whatever. You know. So that guy that, like, spun out on the first lap, first turn, for example, he might have been similar speed to me, but it doesn't matter now. He's back wherever. Turn in correctly. As usual, I'll have my bookmarks and stuff though, so if you want to skip ahead and see what happens, like the white flag, whatever. I don't blame you. Right, too, not too much to go in this race anyway though. Uh, oh, wow, we still got 20 minutes. Never mind, we're only a third of the way through this thing. Plenty of time for those guys to wreck each other up there, huh? Right, we can get this win. <laughs> That's the cool thing about running up near the front, is uh, if the stars align, you don't know what could happen. You know, being in third, those two guys take each other out trying to fight for the win. You're first in line for something cool. Something cool being winning. <laughs> that weren't obvious. Something cool, a new t shirt. You're first in line to get a new t shirt. Sorry, sorry. I raced at Okayama and all I got was this lousy t shirt. Why do we keep overdriving that? But, uh, I swear, something, something's different. Know, it's not that I'm a bad driver, I swear. The temperature's different, the track. My tires are worn. Something, something, something. The gap in front it's not that I'm missing my mark. Totally, totally not. That can't be it. Never mind the fact that it happens every lap. I don't know what that wide turn in was. I messed up that section pretty good. Oh, somebody wrecked. It's in the pits. Car 21, I hope you can enjoy your vacation. That was pretty, absolutely the worst driving I've ever seen. Ooh, that's why he's there, too. Someone's getting protested, apparently. We'll see the incidents afterward, as usual. See what they're yelling about. He wasn't really yelling, he was kind of just like, That'd be bad. Um, I hope you're proud of yourself. That kind of thing. But you see blue cat? <laughs> it seems like the uh, blue car doesn't have quite as much grip now. As much as I want to use it as an excuse, <laughs> it does seem like. Uh, it's just a little less grippy. Hop on straight. That'll happen. Okay. But uh, that just means I have to make my adjustments and break a little sooner. There you go. See? If I keep that in mind and break a little bit sooner, that's more or less the line that I try to take. And it's not as fast as it was earlier in the race, but that's because the tires are wearing. I've got to know uh, the current status of my car. 
be able to adjust to it. That's part of it. We're diving into these sharp corners like that. The one you just saw. The tire's going to get some abuse. So that's just how it works. i got to keep up to date with how my car is feeling and adjust accordingly. It's part of it. I don't hear about tires as much in road racing, at least not from me. But uh, it still exists. Save some fuel to get to the end. Fuel is tight. We think you're okay for fuel, but there's not much to spare. Man, Major's Garage, you better not. You better not do this to me. Better make it to the end. <laughs> we got about 11 laps. It says we're gonna make it, just barely though. That should be okay. I'll uh, keep an ear, an ear placed firmly <laughs> on my uh, crew chief, though, just in case I need to, uh, I don't know, lift off earlier or something. This is not necessary. Everything's kind of going uh, how things are supposed to, though. I am the number three. Third ranked in here, and predicted to finish third as a result, and that's where I am. First and second are swapped, though. Maybe the number two is just better at this track than number one. Maybe. The number one's got something up his sleeve, I don't know. Maybe he's... probably not, but maybe he's just keeping in that draft and driving a little softer. Maybe to keep the tires happier, is that a thing? I don't know. Or maybe he's just a second or two behind. There are a lot of people that have wrecked, it sure looks like. People in the pits. One of these uh, straights coming up, maybe I'll take a look at the standings and see how many people are still out here on the lead lap. That is a question. I wonder if we'll get to lap traffic. This place is pretty wide, so I don't think it would be too big of a deal, but could throw a wrench in things. There I go, overdriving again. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. You'd think I'd learn. You really would. Now we got quite a few. 16 people on the lead lap still. Presumably those are all the ones who have not wrecked. So we just got a handful of people that uh, had trouble. Thanks, Danny. Just staying smooth. Yeah, all I can do at this point. Just keep up the competitive laps. Try to limit mistakes. Obviously, you got plenty of time behind us, and uh, well, we're close enough that if they get uh, they make a major mistake, we might be able to get up to them. Ooh, I messed up that corner pretty bad though. Very good. I think we'll go ahead and do session last lap since, since uh, I'm pretty sure the tire fall off time was significant enough that good should be noticeable.
Philly hit it right that time, and look how much time we gained. That's like two tenths every lap I mess up by messing up that corner. It's so hard to get that right, I swear. I'm glad I had session last lap up so I can look at that. Been able to avoid uh, any off tracks as well. That's nice. Always nice to increase my uh, safety rating on a road. Because it's, uh, it's kind of difficult. Uh, much more difficult than, say, oval safety rating, which I've had locked at 499 for months now, I think. Uh -oh. More difficult whenever I'm doing these rookie road races and they're killing me in turn one, lap one, you know. I try my best to try to survive it, but sometimes it's difficult. And whenever that happens just destroys destroys my uh, safety rating on the road even if I go you know the rest of the race trying to be good oh, I shifted there thank you right because I'm thinking about other things yeah, you caught up to me but uh, I've got my uh, class a road uh, safety rating in the uh, in the fours I now, I think well. I'd like to keep that going up and up. Honestly, safety rating matters more to me than uh, I rating. I've said this a ton of times, though. I'm sure I'm a broken record, but uh, I just like to present myself as a a clean racer. That matters more to me than however fast I portray myself as or whatever. <laughs> I felt myself going a little wide there. Almost got the off track. Maybe those guys are pushing really hard up there. You know, getting just a little bit of too many off tracks. They're running super fast. I don't know. Wishful thinking here. But who knows? Maybe they'll uh, take it too far. That was a terrible lap. <laughs> Should probably focus. Speaking of uh, my road numbers, I'm actually what happened? exactly on 3,000 right now on my road I rating. That's the first time I've reached 3,000. So that's pretty cool. Now, Angel is blocking the guy and um, blocking me the way. What are you talking about? Oh, they're talking about. So that's Sorry. pretty cool. I've got uh, exactly 3,000. I came into this race wondering, uh, well, am I could directly. Or am I immediately going to lose that? Or am I going to be able to continue forward? And if we finish here, we should continue forward. Well, so that's I cool. See you. Let me check this fuel in a minute. Get an update on that. I'm clear. This side. No, but then I hope I'm here. Ooh, on the curb just a little bit too much there, and it got a little loose. Don't do something dumb. Pretty much guaranteed third. We just don't crash. Alright, brought it back a little bit, that lap. Alright, still saying we're going to make it on fuel. I'm going to trust it. In the first there. I'm just doing weird stuff. 
It's 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 a real thing, I swear. Road racing fatigue. Like, when you get in these longer road races, I know this is not long compared to an endurance race, but for me, a longer road race, like, sometimes you start getting a little loopy, <laughs> start doing weird things. At least I do, and I know Nick Neven has talked about that happening. I've, I've experienced that feeling for sure. does seem like that two up there is just faster than the one, because the one is falling further back. I assume that was the case, but... I know for sure... Those top rated guys are smart cookies a lot of the time. You never know. They're up to something. They've got a plan. I always assume they've got a plan that's going to get them to win whenever they're the top ranked person. But of course, they could be very similarly like ranked being the one and two. All I know is they must be over 3,000, because that's where I am. Okay, As number three, I went too wide. Too wide in that corner. Now, normally it starts feeling like you can really start taking the corners a little harder and stuff, because the car gets lighter as there's less fuel. I haven't really felt that too much, though. Maybe it's offset by the fact that the tires are worn. The ahead is now 12 seconds. Oh, God. Let me get in front of this guy first. That was a uh, 146.01. Why? Because I was afraid he was going to miss his mark or something. That's fine. We'll, we'll drive away from him. Assuming he's not like some secretly fast dude that just had trouble or something. You get a uh, no. You don't get a fast repair in this series. Interesting. I've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Like I said, I don't get to run this very often. I I'm entirely sure. I like that. I think I would prefer not having fast repairs as much as I would, uh, as much as I need them sometimes. I think I prefer not having them. It's just more realistic. Blah blah blah. And uh, probably makes people be a little more careful. You would assume. I don't know what goes on in the people's brains, though. I think that they're even thinking about that. I think they're thinking, must pass now. It's just about everything that's going on. And some of these starts. It was wide again. I gotta get my rhythm back for that corner. It's two laps in a row, I think I've missed that that turn in. Another kind of stinker lap, half a second slower. That's not what I want. Is my fault? Only about five minutes left. All right, coming down to it. No, I have shot the corner. They're getting. Colton, I break too late. I didn't break hard enough. Apparently, I've lost a lot of time in those first couple of corners there because I gained it back this time. Under driving it, maybe. It's getting numb. Uh, doing what I need to be doing. still see him on the horizon <laughs> after these uh, super long straights I can see him little dots in the distance See, that's enough to get us to the end. Still think it should be. But... I do think it's still. I still have it set up to uh, give me an extra lap, too, though. So I think we might definitely be good then, if that's the case. I can't remember if I changed that. Is the problem? 
in the settings of the crew chief. The fuel should be okay if your consumption remains like it is. It's only ever told me it's okay. So. One good thing to see is my uh, internet's been holding up this whole race. That's good. New location, and it's uh, given me a little bit of trouble at times. I don't think I've seen it go yellow once during this race, or even in the practice uh, at a time. So that's good. Definitely don't want inconsistent internet. That's a concern for sure. I don't know why I stayed in second there. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Road racing fatigue. Back at it again. Sunny is up there in the lead. Looking good to win this thing. And uh, we're following Timon. Avoid the obvious Lion King joke there. And then me. And third. Go, lap car. Yeah, Brady and Hamilton. They look like uh, they're close to one another. They might be uh, fighting for position at some point. They're uh, over 20 seconds back. So that makes me feel good. I feel like I got pretty good speed. Not top of the line. Not those guys up front. But I can feel pretty good about this performance, I think. Eat me a break, man. This isn't always my best track, anyway. Last lap. All right, last lap. And we got two laps of fuel. So I think I do still have it set up to give us an extra lap. Okay, so that's perfect. Last lap. Bring it on home. All right, last lap. Let's make it a good one. Not too good that I'm gonna wreck. Let's make it good enough. Hey, I like that. It was much better than last lap, I think, going through there. Let me kind of didn't have quite the runoff. Maybe it was not so bad last lap. Like I said, I just there's so many ways to take that corner. I don't even know if I'm doing it the right way. You've got about two laps of fuel. Just a brief moment. I thought that was my crew chief or uh, my spotter chiming in to say, you got a slow car on the blah, blah, blah. I was like, ooh, freebies. Not the case, though. Just for a moment. Just for a moment, I thought. But like I said, P3 will be just fine. Half a gallon of fuel remaining. Sorry for a bit of a boring race. We just found our spot, and uh, there's no one else like quite at our speed. They were above it or below it. <laughs> good race, good win. Looks like the leader has gone off in first corner. The leader's gone off. <laughs> nice one. All right, and we got zero X too. That's awesome. Since we got lots of people still racing, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more corners. A couple more safe corners. From the left to not bad. And, uh, because the safety rating still counts until everybody finishes. So that's pretty cool. I'll just do a nice, uh, cooldown lap. And of course, during the cooldown lap, I hit that corner that good. Wow, okay. Should I be in? Should I be staying in second there? Kind of worked. Man, go figure. I'm doing better when I'm not trying. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, good race, eight thirteen. Good race. All right. Just watching that time on the time remaining over there. Says uh, one minute or so when the last person uh, finishes and the safety or the incidents no longer count. There it goes. It'll turn into whenever the session will be closing. So, 
No reason to drive around anymore. Just had a nice cool down. Race that long, might as well do another half lap. <laughs> P3 feels good. Trying, man. Great race. And uh, we end up with I, zero I incidents. <laughs> Had a couple people yeah, that yeah, pulled that off, the last, uh, lap. <laughs> including the two who got the win. So they had a flawless race, pretty much. Yeah, I had nothing to lose, so full spin. Good stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and jump right into the incidents. My best Get lap was lap two. Man. Makes sense. All that grip. One forty-four. I have a black in the first lap. Ben and Jerry's. No, that that's the guy that spun like, up behind us. He's behind me, and it's like, oh, he's much faster. <laughs> it almost looks like he shifts down there, and it gets his car unsettled. The way it snapped like that looked like something oh, mechanical. Later. See you later. Bye. See you, man. Have a good one. Oh. You can say he drives a rocky road. <laughs> Oh, my God. That's a missed breaking point and trying to do everything he can not to slam into people, I think. It almost looked like he could have slowed it down. He kind of gives up and goes down there, but he's he looks like he's slowed it down pretty good by there. I think he probably could have stayed to the left. I don't know. It's hard to say. Split-second decision like that. In the grass and in the dumpster. <laughs> this is the guy that almost killed me. It, it looked like he was aiming for me. And that wasn't the guy that said he had pedal issues either. That was someone else. Pedal issues. Oh, no, it is. It is this guy. Why did it look like he aimed for me, though? <laughs> Doesn't it look like he aims for me? I swear, he had pedal issues and then he... He was going to try to use me to stop. So I'm glad that didn't happen. Also, pedal issues, huh? It sure looks like you're hitting the brakes to me. Your brake lights are on. Are you sure you didn't just overdrive? Because you're supposed to brake at the 100. But I think you braked at the 50 and got your braking marker wrong. I think you might be fibbing, my friend. I think you got the wrong brake marker and then blamed it on the pedals. Conspiracy hat engaged. But you know what? I'll expose your secrets if you're going to try to use me for brakes, apparently. <laughs> so. What's going on there? Plenty going on here. What happened? Oh gosh, this looks like a whole chain reaction. So this guy gets back on the track after going off. Kind of ends up in the racing line. And then the Red Bull kind of just gives him no room whatsoever and overdrives that corner. Oh my gosh. Scary. Will he wait or will he be a typical Red Bull driver and pull out in front of people? They have a bad reputation on iRacing for a reason. No. It looks like he's okay. He waited. He was good. He was a good Red Bull. More overdriving at the corner and using someone for brakes. That's what the other guy tried to do to me, I believe. More rocky road for the Ben and Jerry's. He has to dodge the guy and then ends up into the, I don't know, bizarro world checker pattern guy. That is a horrible rejoin. You can't do that, man. Maybe he didn't try to. Maybe he was out of control. Hard to say. You can't rejoin like that, though, on purpose. Goes on his merry way, having destroyed two people. Or more. Orange car just turns into that guy. He's not there. I'm glad I wasn't back there. Qualifying's important, man. In these road races. The, not only do you have to spend time setting up passes. That makes you lose time to the guys up front. But, uh... You risk getting stuck behind people crashing, too. So we continue on. That's just some blinking. It gives no room to the guy on his outside, but it looks like they survive. So 
slight door banging. That guy just straight up turns left into him. He's trying to get the most out of the corner, but takes too much. You don't quite need to be all that far out. That's something I struggle with, is uh, using the most of the corner when I'm too wide. Because I'm afraid I'm going to do this, and so usually I enter really shallow and end up taking the corner way too slow, and the guy gets around me on the outside. So I need to be more aggressive with using the room I have without doing this. It's something I need to work on. There's a lot I need to work on on road racing when it comes to side-by-side. -side. That's something I've identified and I'm trying to improve on. He pinches the guy there. He gave him no room whatsoever. They, these guys are... They got the fists out. Gloves are off. They're swinging at each other. They're racing really rude. Gosh. That 21's a bit of a problem. I'll just in the little amount I've seen. Some blinkers. Anyone's gonna dive in? Yeah. I don't know why this guy's breaking, but the 21. Good lord, man. Like. <laughs> Got his weed car. Smoking weed's not a personality. Reminder. Okay, just had some trouble. Get to the grass. This has been a problem corner. Jesus. Kills the man. Uses him up. And the, uh... The 20 overdrives the corner, and unfortunately, it's right where the Red Bull was. They're playing bumper cars now. You're having some serious trouble. Uh, Weed King shifts down too quickly and blows his engine, and now he's trying to pull over, but he's blocking unintentionally. I'm sure plenty of people are happy he's gone. How did this happen? Well, there, there, well, there's a lot to see here. What? What? Is he? So is he trying to pit? It looks like he's trying to pit. But then what's... What are we doing? <laughs> what is that? What was that? I don't know. I can't explain that. I don't know if he's trying to pit, change his mind, had a slowdown penalty he needed to get rid of, but it's weird. I should say, I think this... Mm, no, you know, I was going to say, I think this might have been single split. But on second thought, I think we had more than 22 people signed up. So it might have split once, but we got some questionable maneuvers going on here. And that's it. So that was a nice, entertaining <laughs> incident report. Thankfully, we were not part of any of it, and uh, we got ourselves our 0x, we got ourselves the bronze medal. I seem to get the bronze medal a lot, <laughs> the short step on the podium, but uh, we made it there. We just kind of had our own our own little spot on the track there, and sorry, a little boring, but hopefully it was enjoyable in its own way, racing the track and uh, getting some laps in. You know, I always feel like I'm getting a little bit better every time I go out, so that, that's worth something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.